All right, we'll go ahead and get started. And that's Fred Calgill from WLKY. Just some general thoughts about being a two seed, being in this position. You've waited a long time to get another crack at this. I'm excited. I'm super excited. So are the girls. Um, we like our chances. I think we, we've got a good draw. We got a chance to, to get to the final four, but it's going to take game by game. Every team is talented and, and ready to play. So we got to take each game one at a time. Hey, Dana, this is Cameron with the Curry Journal. After missing last year, I mean, I, like the 19 number tournament is a standard for you all, but does this feel does this feel a little better than, than it normally does just because you were off for so long last year and you missed it? Yes, I think it just feels it feels different this year with uh, the COVID and everything, but we're still really excited. Um, we have a great team. I'm excited for our freshmen and our newbies that has never been played in the tournament before. So I think this is this is really good and it's exciting. And Dana, again, when you think about the overview of this team, some of the, the recipe for success of how you guys have gotten here, what are some of the elements that everybody gets to be a two seed and have the incredible fun that you've had? I mean, what are some of the things that have made you successful? Um, I would just say hard work and dedication, uh, listening to our coaches, being coachable, um, staying in the gym, pushing one another. I think we stay on each other pretty well, and everybody can pretty much take criticism, whether it's good or bad, um, uplifting one another, just being there for each other. I think we're great teammates. So I just think everything is paying off for us to be a two seed. It took a lot of a lot of dedication, a lot of – it was a tough road here, obviously, with the ACC being such a tough – conference so we had to take every game one game at a time and just do what we needed to do so i think uh, it was deserved for sure hey dana it's jody dimling with cardinal authority how much if at all do you think as a veteran you've been to these they're, they're tough anyway mentally but having to quarantine having to be in the same hotel all the time in one one place yeah. how much is it going to be mentally taxing and, and how how do you do that as a as a, as a leader to tell your the, the young girls that, that this is going to be difficult. Well, I just make sure I let them know that we're down there uh, for business. Um, it's a business trip. We got one goal, um, six games. So we just got to make sure that we stay focused. Um, it's going to be different. Yeah, it is. But I mean, it's an opportunity. So I think we just got to go down there with the mindset of taking care of business and doing what we have to do. I think, I don't think it's going to be a, a huge challenge for us because even when we're here, we're pretty much kind of in a bubble anyway, because all we do is go to the gym, go home and repeat. So it's just the same thing with the being in the hotel. You'll go to go practice or play a game and then you go back to your room. So we're pretty much used to that. We've been we've been in this pandemic for almost a year now, so it's not really anything new. So we, we know what to expect and we know what we have to do. Dana, it's been so much time between games and. And how much does that uh, kind of help you guys and just the fact of seeing the bracket and seeing your opponents, how much does that kind of make this a new start coming off, you know, that disappointing ACC end? Finally, just being able to play again soon. Now we know who we're playing um, and everything like that. I think that's a big relief for me. This was a challenging, challenging week and a, week and a half to kind of get over that loss. Obviously, it was a tough one, but... Um, now we, we kind of see that this is about to be a new season for us and we just got to do what we have to do. And it's exciting seeing who, we're, who, we, who we get a chance to match up with and play against. And, uh, uh, Coach has sort of been an author for this program, Modern Day Success. What, what is it about Coach Walls that has made him and you guys so successful? Huh? I would just say Coach Walls is just always, always challenging us to be better. So he's really good at that finding areas that you aren't the best at and pushing you to, to be better and to, to challenge yourself in different ways. So I like it. And I think it has made me a better player each year. He's challenged me with something new every year. And I just try to attack it and just be the best player in person that I could be. Hey, hey Dana, we, we saw the tweet obviously yesterday where somebody tweeted you saying, we need you guys to carry the city. Now that the men's team isn't in you, I, there may be more eyes on you all now in the city with with your run and the men's team being out. Is that something you guys embrace? I know you guys usually have a pretty rapid, rapid, large fan base, but do you guys embrace kind of more eyes? <coughs> you, know, you might be the only one left. 
Well, I really do feel bad for our, our men's team. I, I know how much hard work that they've put in to, to get to that NCAA tournament and how challenging it was because of how many pauses they had um, concerning the COVID. But my heart goes out to them, and I feel bad for the for the seniors that don't get a chance to, to play in the NCAA tournament. But we're here, and we're going to try to make them proud and make the city proud. And, and Dana, I, I know you're you're a gym rat on a normal day, but after the ACC tournament, how many more shots do you feel like you, you got up or how, how, how much harder did you feel like you had to work at after that tournament? Well, I would say I needed I gave myself actually a couple days because it was really challenging for me to just let it go. So um, obviously, after those two days, I, I got back in the gym and did what I needed to do. But I would say I just kept my routine. I just have to stay true to myself and just believe in myself and not not get down and not carry something from the last game over to the next because I can't do that as a leader and as a captain of this team. I have to be there for them, and I can't let them see me like that. You've been outspoken about chasing a national championship. Talk about the challenge of winning six games in this tournament atmosphere. It's well, we've never done it. Obviously, you've never done it. That's why you came back. But for those that don't really get how difficult this journey will be, it's one thing to get to this point. It's another thing to make the jump all the way. Well, it's exciting. I think um, we, we know what we have to do. Um, obviously, winning that national championship is something that I've been dreaming about, and that's something that we've been working towards for months since June and July. So that's obviously our goal. But just knowing that we have to believe in ourselves, believe in our coaching staff, because they're gonna they're gonna give us the keys and they're gonna give us the scouting report, and we just have to follow it and we just have to stay focused. But the six game stretch obviously won't be easy. Every every team is gonna present a new challenge for us, so we just have to make sure that we're ready and we don't take anyone lightly because this is gonna be a tough tournament. It's gonna be different. Anything else for Dana? I've got, I've got one last one. As you've grown as a player, Dana, what do you think, how are you different now than maybe you were two or three years ago? What are the things now maybe in your assets that, you know, is, is it more mental, is it more physical? What are the things now that you have that maybe you didn't have a couple of years ago? I would say mentally because I'm the leader of this team and I feel like they kind of look up to me, so I can't, I can't show my frustration as much as I was able to in the past two years because I wasn't the senior. I wasn't, this wasn't my last year and just making sure that they, they know that I'm going to give it my all. This is my last time to try to win a national championship. So I know that they have my back and, and I'm ready and I'm excited. Well, one other thing for me, Dana, we, we've talked um, a little bit about Liz and her growth this year. But I feel like, I mean, Olivia came in and played well, and Liz kind of really gave you guys a solid number two in the post. How important has she been to the success you guys have had? Because her growth from last year to this year might be as big as anybody in the in the ACC, probably. Definitely, I agree. I think Liz has brought a lot of different things to this team, blocking shots. Just being able to finish around the, the rim has gotten so much better. Her hands has improved a lot from last year. Her uh, outside jump shot, being able to face up and beat that defender one-on-one -on -one or just pull up has improved a lot. So she's grown in so many areas. And I think vocally she has definitely gotten a lot better with because last year she probably wasn't as comfortable as she is now. But being an upperclassman, I think she gets it. And I think she's trying to help Olivia, the freshman, come along. So... She's she's definitely maturing and she's getting a lot better every day. I see her putting in the work, so it's paying off. Thank you. 